Welcome, Ravens Nation. Like most of you, I'm sure watching those videos shook you and shook me to my core. It made me sick and it made me angry. I saw the Ahmad Arbery video seven or ten days, I believe, before George Floyd. And it was the most despicable thing I had ever seen. These men were on a hunt and took it upon themselves to seek what they defined as justice. I'm lucky enough through my ownership of this wonderful franchise to have gotten close enough to these young men to see and hear their hurt. And all they're asking for right now is to be heard. And I want to ask you individually, are you willing to listen? That's all they want. And if you listen enough, will you learn to speak up? That's the hardest thing for us, but it's the first thing that they need is to just believe they have partners that want to listen. I've learned in my life more than anything that anger comes from hurt. I see their anger, but if you don't stop and think about the hurt that you caused, then nothing will ever change. I don't think I've grown by seeing their anger. I think I've grown by feeling their hurt. And these young men are hurting and they're begging us to listen. I've had an opportunity to sit in and participate in some Zoom meetings with them. And it's uncomfortable, but it's uncomfortable for them too. And when I, when I, when I saw them being uncomfortable, it made it that much easier for me. But when we're talking about such a sensitive subject, I'm scared to say the wrong thing. So it's easy to say nothing, but being quiet isn't an option. Not for me, not for our organization, and certainly not for our players that have this platform to try and make you understand the oppression that they've experienced. To say stick to sports to my players is the worst possible thing that you can feel and say. If my players, both white and black, don't speak out about this injustice to their communities, then they're sellouts or they're hypocrites. If I don't defend my players, then I'm the worst kind of hypocrite. I've spent 20 years loving watching them perform, but building relationships with these young men has meant more to me than success on the field. And if I was them, I wouldn't want to work for me if I'm scared to speak out, if I consider economic hurt because I don't want to offend, I'm not going to do it. And I hope all our fans feel the same way. Black lives matter. And I think for the vast majority of you all, you feel it. And more importantly, I think you live it by your actions. So why is saying it so hard? Because you don't understand the message, then ask.
ask the questions, ask the uncomfortable questions, and you will come to the conclusion, I hope, that I have, that you don't feel it enough and you don't live it enough if you're not willing to say it. Black Lives Matter. Thank you.